Um, Liam, do you view that as a fair result today? Possibly, yeah. Um, I felt it was two teams that gave absolutely everything, played in different ways. I felt, pr- and we knew coming here was going to be a really difficult game. They're in a really good run of form, a really good physical team, uh, difficult to deal with. And I thought Greavesy and Alfie were, were magnificent. The back four stood up really, really well to the diagonals and the balls that come into our box. I just felt there's a frustration in the dressing room after the game because I just felt if we'd have taken advantage of the moments in their half a little bit better, made the right final pass or made the right shot selection, then we could have come away with all three points. But Overall, I'm really, really pleased with this point. You mentioned the defence, but the midfield as well, especially in the first half. No, the speed work that Regan, Tyler yeah. and so were all doing to win the ball back and try and get Hull City moving the other way. Yeah, they're three outstanding midfield players. I felt coming here we needed an extra presence in midfield to try and settle the game, to try and win second balls and try and, and, and try and calm the game down. Um, when we did that, we had some really, really good passages of play. We just couldn't quite um, take advantage of it. And those three give me everything. You know, they're three outstanding midfield players. I can play two of them. I can play three of them. I just felt today playing with an extra midfield player in there to try and win the second balls of direct play would help us and they, they certainly did that. And you spoke about Preston's uh, uh, physicality and pressure. What did you most like about the defence in particular? The, the whole team. No, it's not the defence. If you watch the way that Fabio and Jaden and Anas and then Abdush um, pressed the ball, um, they, they worked themselves into the ground to try and stop the ball coming in. Um, it was a, it's a team effort, you know, and that's what's really, really pleasing. If we can keep that solid base and take advantage of the moments. We're in a really, really healthy position. I keep saying this team needs to improve and we will improve, but these points away from home against teams like like this are really, really important in the the bigger scheme of things. I remember you saying through the season that you want your teams obviously to run and be fit and I think that that showed today, didn't it? Just the the amount of energy, especially Alfie in particular over in the corner flag over there to chase the ball down from 50 yards. We worked really, really hard in pre-season. It was probably the hardest pre-season of the lads' careers uh, because it's for times like this in March. We've got a fully fit squad. You know, we, we've worked really, really hard behind the scenes to get the players as robust and as fit as possible. We pressed the ball a lot higher than we did last season. And um, hopefully that that adds up to something really, really good at the end of the season. Quick turnaround Tuesday, yeah. Birmingham again. Yeah, <laughs> for, Birmingham for, for the hundredth time this, <laughs> this season. No, they're in good form. I know that I've just seen their result. They lost uh, today against a very good team. So look, it's going to be another championship game. Every single game is so difficult um, and we need to make sure we prepare right for that one. Comes at the right time though, doesn't it? Because obviously you obviously want three points every single week and I think the players will be feeling that it's a great time obviously quick turnaround and all that every game every game that we play we want three points and uh, we'll go into it Uh, we'll see we'll see what the lads are like tomorrow morning after a difficult game today and I'll try and pick the right team for that one